What is going on guys, DB guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be talking about something big, something really, really big, and it is something positive for once. Um, again, I will always, um, anytime, like, so 2K do something good, I will gladly, gladly report on something good that 2K have done, and I'm basically a source of my team news at this stage, so if 2K do something bad, I'll talk about it, if they do something good, I'll talk about it. Obviously, 2K do a hell of a lot more bad than they do good. But uh, 2K is like that that X, that um, that toxic X that just keeps ran like keeps randomly doing a couple of good things here or there to keep with them, and then it's just toxic from then on. That is literally the way 2K is. But um, yeah. So 2K after yeah the shenanigans yesterday have gone and released positive, possibly the most positive thing they could have ever done. So. You know what? Hats off to 2K. Fair play to them. And you know what? In terms of things to do, gotta admit it. My, this year's my team is the best ever. This year's my team is the best ever, and it's not even close. So, what is said card? It's the reward for the question mark, question mark, question mark set. So, we all know that the question mark, question mark, question mark set has now turned into Galaxy Opal Kobe completion. So, Akeem Olajuwon, James Harden, and Kobe Bryant gets us Galaxy Opal Kobe, who is the first of the GOAT collection. So lads, we don't know what this could be. This can mean that um, Galaxy Opal Kobe is the first, well, I'm guessing it's the first of many, but it means that we could get a lot more grinding cards in the GOAT collection, which would be insane. If they're impacts, you know, if someone were impacts, someone were grinding, I'd be happy. And also lads, um, I do owe somebody $50 because neither of these are Kawhi. So that is... That's a little bit annoying, but uh, you know what? A bet's a bet. I did tweet out that one of these cards was going to be Kawhi, and it's actually Hakeem and Kobe. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I owe somebody um, I owe someone $50, which is not great. So, uh, yeah. So, Kobe is part of the GOAT collection. And if you guys don't know how to get this Kobe Bryant card, you've got to basically... It's basically about 120 hours of playtime. And I'm not even kidding. It is about 120 hours. So you have to complete all of these spotlight sims and then a bunch of challenges. You don't need Kobe challenges, thankfully, but all of these spotlight sims and then some challenges that, well, uh, not the spotlight sets. You don't need to complete these, but from any of say spotlight sim, you need all these. And that is pretty much it. So you can be all them. And then not only that, not only that, there's 30 of those games. You have to go and complete 30 more of these. So it's 150 games. So these historic uh, spotlight simies, to be fair though, on your way to getting Kobe Bryant, on your way to getting him, you're getting, I'm not going to say Harden's good, but you're getting Cam Reddish. You are getting, um, I'm trying to think who else is good, Rocco. Then the Star Spotlight Sims, you're getting probably about 10 very, very good cards in this entire set. So it's not absolutely terrible. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So, well, that's pretty much it for how you have to go about getting Kobe. But now we're going to talk about the Go Collection itself. And not only that, what potential it has, what I think is going to happen. And also, I'm not going to, like, honestly, because today is a positive day, I'm not going to be talking about any negatives. I'm not going to be looking at, like, the worst um, case scenario for it. I'm just going to look for the best because, you know what, uh, if it's a collection with Kobe Bryant, it's likely 2K are going to do something good for us. And, yeah, again, it's just be positive when, when needed. So, pretty much the Kobe Bryant... For anyone saying he's not free, you have to grind. You do, you do. I personally, I personally said that that if they gave it a free Kobe and then you had to grind. I'd be fine. However, I'm still salt. I'm still salty that this Kobe's terrible. Like I'm still salty that this Kobe is terrible. Like if this Kobe even had gold clamps, he would be bad but usable. He's so bad he's unusable. Like he's one of the worst cards people still use in the game. But um, yeah. So I've got another stats of Akeem, who is fantastic. And then uh, Kobe is there in the Go Collection. So the Go Collection cards that I predict to be in this, because there is no completion reward, I have a feeling these are all going to be like borderline rewards for doing stuff. So more than likely, we're going to see probably an Opal, another Opal MJ. Like you're not going to have a Go Collection without Opal MJ and LeBron James and Kareem. So I have a feeling the three of those guys are going to be in this set because let's be real. Um, the debate for the greatest of all time. Again, like you can, it's a literally it's subjective, so you can literally throw in whoever you want, and no one's right or no one's wrong. 
unless they say um, Boris Dio shouldn't have been finals MVP in 2014, then they're just objectively wrong. But um, yeah, so there's Kobe. We're probably going to see a LeBron James. We're probably going to see a Michael Jordan. We're probably going to see a Larry and a Kareem. But you know what I think we do see? I think with these cards, we might see slightly downgraded versions. Like for LeBron James, I think at some stage we might see another glitch LeBron James. I think we might see a glitch LeBron um, that can play point guard or just a regular point guard LeBron James as part of like uh, Prime Series 3. Um, I think we might see another Michael Jordan that can play point guard. A really like 99 borderline everything Michael Jordan that can play point guard. And then... You never know with the Go collection, we might see like a, a small four slash power forward LeBron James from Miami or something, or from Cleveland where he's really, really good, but not quite as good as the auctionable one. But this one is for, I don't know, just a brand new set of challenges or putting them in di- like in different sections of the game. That would be insane because I think the way that, like realistically, the way 2K can o- should always do things is never like release good, but not the best players by grinding. And I know that that's kind of like a thing that people don't want to hear. But again, it is about making money. And I think if they release good, but not the ultimate cards from grinding, it means that basically 2K aren't losing out on any money. And also the guys who don't want to spend money aren't at that much of a disadvantage. They might be at a tiny bit of a disadvantage. They won't be at that much. Like for example, like 2K are never going to put point guard Shaq or um, dribble guard Shaq behind uh, not behind the paywall they're not going to put in behind the grind because let's be real people are going to open a hell of a lot of packs for that card but for example Hakeem who might be better than Shaq isn't he's a big name but he's not the same name he's not going to get the same draw in packs so they may as well give him in spotlight sims so I'm guessing that's why we haven't seen Kawhi Leonard yet and still salty that I owe someone actually I'm not salty at all like I think Hakeem's probably better so I'll pay that $50 gladly I gladly would even though I lost that bet so that's the best case scenario. That's the best case scenario for me is if this is a set where you can only grind out the players and you can't buy them in packs, the best case scenario is is that they're slightly downgraded version of cards that are released because I'm telling you right now, the best version of Larry Bird, the best version of Magic Johnson, the best version of LeBron James, the best version of Michael Jordan, none of them, not one of them is going to be free, is going to be grindable. They are, the, they are the bunny makers for 2K. And maybe one of them might be in the GOAT collection just due to PR. But they're the guys that make the big, big pack money. So for that reason, I can't see that happening. But yeah, like, I'm a big fan of this card art. I'm just a, I'm a big fan of this in general. I am a big fan of what 2K have done right here with Kobe. Again, have they just given this Kobe gold clamps? And you never know, they might update him to gold clamps. I'm telling you, have they just given this Kobe gold clamps? And had they not basically just teased us and trolled us for just that little bit too long? It was just like they had it. They had it perfect and not releasing the cards yesterday or not even addressing the cards until last night late. It was just that little bit too long. So I don't regret anything I said. I think they held it on a little bit too long. They memed too much. They trolled us too much. And... They were just, they've just been so, so close. And that's my big thing with 2K is that they're always so close to doing the right thing, but there's just one or two tiny details that basically mean that it undoes all the good work 2K are doing. But if they do update this Kobe and give him gold clamps, let's be real, I may not be the first to get this Kobe, but I'm getting him. I'm straight up getting this Kobe and he's free, so... Again, I don't think anyone's really going to be complaining about a free Kobe Bryant. As much as I would love to um, get this card without having to do a big grind, um, and as much as some people would love to spend money on him, which is fully understandable, which is fully, fully understandable, um, I wouldn't be that surprised if we see... Actually, I'd be shocked if we don't see an upgrade to this Kobe Bryant. Because there is... Like, in fairness, I got Harden, so I'm in the boat of people that are happy about it, and I know I'm going to get Hakeem. However, for the people that haven't really started on Harden, I understand where there's frustration. And I think the 2K, they went about it the right way. They just screwed up with this Kobe right here. Like, that's the only problem, is that if they gave this gold clamps, I don't think anyone would be complaining about this specific thing. But there is definitely going to be the... This is definitely something for the hardcore players. This is not something for the... Um, 
for the casual players. The casual players are going to be a little bit annoyed. Like, actually, the casual players are going to be using Pink Diamond Kobe and don't really know the difference. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. 2K, you're doing good. And you know what? You know what? When you do good 2K, I'm going to praise you. And, again, thanks to Two Bros for giving us constant content and constant things to do throughout this quarantine. I'm still not, I'm still not quite over the trolling, but thank you. Thank you, 2K. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching.